this week on the Hoover Boys. 22. I literally took one step forward. This is a spill, without a doubt. Hopefully this is a one or yeah. Come on. Run to be a weedy. <laughs> all right, we got her. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden I got a second wind. I was dragging there for a little while. Come on, be another old coin. Yes, right there, bam. Well, welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Out here on the river trying to find some new sites. But finally, today we have some, some strangers. Who's the guy with the mullet? Hey, buddy. <laughs> we got Brad, we got Andy Coop. Mullet, the main. The boots is always here. And myself, we're on the, the river system that we hit a few episodes ago. Uh, we're gonna definitely, we definitely found some things at the end of last time we were here. We're gonna hit that spot, but we're trying to find a new spot first. Uh, we just landed this place. So have some fun and save some history. My first signal is an 11. <laughs> Pull tab or a nickel. All right, pretty soft bottom here, but maybe mostly clay. There we go, some aluminum. We are underway. What you got, bro? Yeah, very minimal. It was a trash dump here. Let's try to see if the seam goes all the way up. I don't know if it does. It might be 1890s. Yeah. Little bottle. It's got a chip taken out of it, but we won't hold it against it. Yeah. Trying to see if it's got any text. No, nope, it's like naked. Cannabis. Had a paper label. Awesome. Little medicine bottle. Yeah. Very good. This is a 1920. There's gravel here, but nothing old, unfortunately. Because that's a big old fishing sinker. That's it. Just fishing sinkers and gravel. Nothing old. Oh, excuse me. Oh, did boring, you capture buddy. that growler over there? Or <laughs> we're going to film it in time for that. Anything? Just fishing sinkers? Uh, I mean, I have this. I'm, I'm sure the people will know what this is. Yes. That's, um... Is it metal? That's native buckshot. <laughs> Is it a brick? I think it's a brick that was turned into a shooter marble. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's native? Well, I'll just put it in the pouch and I'll put it on the board so it looks pretty at the end of the show. Okay. Yeah. But site, this is actually site number three. We stopped at another beach up here just looking for native nothing. So we're going to move on down the river. Come on, Muck. Oh, is that a copper? No. Watch your excitement. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? I did the. Uh, I did just. That was a 24 just, signal, huh? Oh, that wasn't far off. Let's make sure it's not a coin turned into yeah, a watch. I, think I don't think old. it is. I remember seeing them with the stud on the back. Yeah, before. it's it's horse tack, but that's good. Yeah. Targets. Hey Curtis. We got. Are you showing the people silly stuff? Yeah, you got something. Yeah, yeah. How many sacks you got 13. over here, buddy? You got all the sacks. Thirteen sacks. What is that? I don't know, but turn it over. Boom! Oh, is that the old printing? Yeah, it's a printing plate. You know what it says? It's I can't a, read backwards. Yeah, I can't it, read forwards. So it says uh, the February price is seven hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Something or other. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's differentness. That's definitely not new. Really they haven't used those in some time, huh? <laughs> oh. Well, this is a high tone, but it's pinpoint pinpointed large. Maybe a big buckle or something. Uh, well, I got a tent stake adjuster as well, Muck. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely 1850s up in here. Civil War era. The printing plate. Got the writing on it backwards. You got a printing plate? Yeah. Brad got one. Oh, nice. You got a big piece. I got more junk. I'll put it in my sack. Yeah, you got a huge piece of it. Uh, I don't know. It's so big and backwards, I can't tell. I told you already I can't read forward. Something about $175 right there. Price for the... God, that's so weird trying to read backwards. We need to print it into something and we can read exactly. it. Exactly. Clean it off and put some ink on it and slap it on a piece of paper. That's cool, man. 
That's really cool. Yeah. I want to find some of that stuff. Nice. Yeah, when, when Brad first jumped out of the boat, he got like the back of a, a, a watch or something. I was like, cool, maybe there's some rings in here. And that's definitely a ring. Definitely looks copper, not silver or gold, but that's cool. It's definitely not new. Ring, just a copper ring. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Finally, a keeper. Yeah, that one actually goes in the... Uh, <laughs> the, the good part of your sack? Yeah, in the medicine bottle thing. I'm guessing, too, that it was a child's ring because it says applesauce. <laughs> That's cool. 12, 13. How about a ring for me? Oh, I got a ring pool. <laughs> I think this is a 19 signal. What we got this time? Big old fishing sinker. I suck. I need something old today. I hear a wave maker. What did you do? It could be a bazinga. Bazinga? Yeah, it was a 20, 27, what is this? 28. But look. What is this? A, a marble. That I, think it, I think it was a squishy ball or something. Was it squishy or hard? It was squishy. <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> what, is? what is that thing? I don't know. Let's talk about the squishy balls some more. Did it have some gift to it? or was A little bit. <laughs> you knocked a huge marble out of here. What it's is a washer. That? That's a, what is that? Oh, it's a toke. It's a toke. Yeah, you can clean it Give up. Give it up, you already got your hands off and you're filming it, go for it. Okay. Dig it up. Am I what? brushing or are you brushing? What is it? It's a, it's a house or like the White House or something. It's a contemporary Vermont landscape. What is this uh, thing? Cool, man. Heck yeah, hopefully it's got a date it's on it. So much differentness going capital, on. Capital, US Capitol, US Washington. Capital. Souvenir. C. Souvenir coin. Huh? It's worth a close-up at least. What was that doing in there too? Coke? Can you find my marble thing? We should probably try to find it. <laughs> I can dive down there, but it was cool, whatever it was. It was very round. Yeah. Kind of like your coin. Well. Token. Thing. Metal. Yeah. <laughs> um. This is the first thing I saw when it came over. Like, What's that really round thing? I saw thing? it too. I was gonna, I was gonna push it around, but here's Brad's token. It says U.S. Capitol, Washington D.C. So it's the Capitol on this side, and he says it's the White House on this side. It does look like the White House. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. I can't really tell, looking through my naked eyes. But if it turns out to be anything cool or rare, we'll come back. Very cool though, old token. Uh, what did you get this time? Don't touch it. <laughs> Huh. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's weird how many of these we actually find in the river. We found a lot of uh, lead toy soldiers over the years. And cannons and stuff. Mm. They didn't print anything on the bottoms, did they? Not usually. Sometimes they were home poured. Okay. Nope. Cool. You got a horse and a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> you, you silly man. What did you get? I had 27, 28 in here. I don't oh, know. yeah, I got my signal, but oh. I figured I'd dump it anyway. There it is. It's a half dollar. What? Yeah, it's a half. Oh, it's another one of these. Look. It's another token thing. What kind of token <laughs> thing? I had a token tear. Name of the episode, Token Tear. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a jersey. It's my first New Jersey. <gasps> you got a bull. What? Feed Jersey. Breed. Breed. For, for, love for love or, love month? or money, breed Jersey. Well, here's Brad's cow token. It says Jersey cream line milk. And this side it says for love or money, breed Jerseys. Just trying to have a hand under you. Um, they're both unlisted tokens, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, they're cool. Cooler than anything I found, that's for sure. Scarcity R7. 28, 26. Get it. I want a high tone. Go get it. There it is. Yeah, it's, it's one of them again. That's my third one. Tent adjuster. Cool. Stick tent string adjuster tensioner thing. I finally get a high tone. I can't even get my shovel in. Uh. What did you get? What did you do? Yeah. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful V nickel. <laughs> I was chosen for a V nickel earlier just so I could hang it's, on. It is a good looking V nickel. Oh, no 1898. Thing. Yeah, there's no such thing as a good looking. That's a decent looking V nickel. <laughs> <laughs> for out of the water, yeah. it's probably one of the better coins I've seen this year. It was dropped in, in fine. 
Good job, we got an old coin. I don't see any Libertitis on it. Finally, an old coin. It's a V-nickel, 1898. Brad's favorite coin to find. Unfortunately, Brad didn't find it, Mark did. It is a V-nickel, five cents. It's a very good looking coin for out of this river. We haven't found too many nice coins out of here. So tent, I knew it was gonna be a tent thing. There's so many of those here. Wish there was some Civil War bullets and belt buckles and stuff. Not a high tone, I'm guessing more of the same. Yep, smaller one. So many of these things here. You're really giving the people a close up of this. What do you got there, PBJ mm -hmm. or just PB? Yeah, I did the double side PB with the jelly in the middle so it doesn't leak into the bread. There you go. When it so leaks. you don't like it all juicy and moist? No, it's bad. That's bad. <laughs> well, there's a lot of signals here, but unfortunately nothing the age range that we like to find. So we're going to be moving on. After we eat our lunch, eat your lunch. <laughs> Old school. You're welcome. <laughs> Bring out the best in me. Well, since we haven't been able to locate a new spot on the river today, we came back to the site from a few episodes ago. Last time we were here, I found a King George the First. Mark got a copper. We found a few buttons and some musket balls. We know there's more here. Hopefully, we can find more. Well, Muck finally got something old. Old dandy button. Flowers on this paper thin. Yeah, I knew there'd be more stuff at this place. We just got to work through it a little bit. I can't see any design on there, yeah, but see, a flower on it. I'm sure there used to be. And then a yeah, little the little right the little dotty stuff. Very good. Something big and round. Finally. All right, be something old. Be something old. I was right. It's a musket ball. It's something old. Nice. My last two targets were little balls. <laughs> so you're talking about me again. <laughs> Somebody's got to talk about you. I think this is a high tone. It's kind of different. Oh, a ring. A real ring. You got a silver ring? No, it's gonna be a, a you know non-precious, but it's a men's wedding band. Definitely looks older, old brass ring. I, you know, I don't find precious rings, bro. It's been a long time, but yeah, it's a nice ring. Well, here's my ring. Definitely a men's wedding band of some sort. Doesn't look new. Unfortunately, it's non-precious, just like the ring Andy found earlier. Brad came over to see this ring was hitting my leg. He has another signal, and you're not gonna believe what it is. Yeah. It's a mid-tone. Motherfucker. It could be right. You son of a <laughs> I said I, I came up right behind you. You came over to see my <laughs> ring. You're like, here's a ring. Here's a ring? Yeah, it's, that's right. <laughs> what the crap, man? <laughs> you are such a douchebag. You were working to the right, my brother. I was not no, working anywhere. I always circle no a good target. Oh, man. It's a gold ring. I don't know what it is though. It, it looks it doesn't look new. Is that a dog? It's uh it's an Egyptian motif. So it's a um that's the Sphinx. Oh. That's, You're a Sphinx. <laughs> that's the Sphinx. <laughs> and that's um um a little blue lapis, stone. Lapis lazuli. You butt nugget. You got some inscriptions inside. I can't I like, tell if it's marked what it is. It's a ring spill. Can you tell what it is? Oh, I mean, we'll have to go to a close-up, but you're a douchebag. <laughs> Come on, man. You know you're a douchebag. I'm not a douchebag. I'm just out here working <laughs> like the rest of y'all. It says uh, da, Dextrin. It's not English. And then the hallmarks are likely Egyptian. But it's going to be 14 karat at a minimum. You used to be my friend. <laughs> Those are good days. <laughs> what a Come on, man. <laughs> yep, Brad caught it. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's a, there's another mid-tone right here next to you. I'm going to dig this. It's probably the gold ring that came off the same finger as yours. I doubt it came off the same finger as mine, but that is a beautiful gold ring. It's some sort of a Egyptian ring as well. It's got a bunch of marks inside of it, and it is uh, marked on this side the uh carrot i believe it says 14k i tried taking a picture of it but yep that's bread for you bottom feeder bread very cool piece of gold out of the river and we've been looking all summer for one well here's a 12 in the same little ring area you know but guarantee it's not going to be a ring 
<laughs> Here's a rock. Take that. <laughs> Yep, I got a shotgun shell. Nice. Uh, I got screwed again though. That's fun. <laughs> Should've seen a shotgun shell with all them decoy weights out here. That was a 16 signal. Don't see it yet. Oh, is that a ring? We got another ring. I'm coming. <laughs> you better stay away. I'm I got oh, another ring. I got a 15 right here. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Mine am, does not appear to be precious uh, again. I am coming. <laughs> <laughs> I am still beating. At least this one has a design. That could be silver, crusty like that. But it wasn't high enough for silver. Oh, man. You got another. Another junker. Oh, please. It's not heavy either. Solitaire. We got some rings together. Is that the fourth ring today? Well, there's the fourth ring on the day too non-precious for me it was a mid-tone almost feels like aluminum and it, it looks black like silver would be but don't believe it's a precious ring but fourth ring on the day a 13 signal how about a button oh what's that is that a button Hey, I got a button. Nothing on it, but it's a flat button. Oh, finally, I got on something old today. Hopefully, I can get on me a coin here before the end of the day. Oh, whatever it was, I just broke it. That ain't. That's not a nickel. Huh? You broke it? I, yeah, the whole thing bent. The whole thing. Oh, you did break it. Shh. What the boy? <laughs> What'd you do, bro? I don't know. We're at the try. What was it? A, it later. looks like a nickel. It's nickel size. Well, try try breaking this side. <laughs> Last time I did this, I broke my fingernail. We'll break it in half and see if it's nickel content inside. No, what's you it? already broke it in half. Oh, there you go. The crust is coming a, off now. Maybe that's a one real. Well, it wouldn't have bent. Well, it could have bent. I mean, coins are brittle out of the water. Is it silver? Let me wrench it off and see. It's falling apart. It's hold there. What do you, what do you got there? Hold on. What do you have there? A medallion. Let me see real quick. Something on it, I see it. It's a freaking one real, dude. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You thought you had a nickel? Same size as a nickel, I don't know what to tell you. What the crap, man? You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? How about them apples? <laughs> I think it's a freaking pistarine too. Oh man. Here, finish cleaning that up. <laughs> Jeez, he thought he had a freaking nickel. It's a black silver. Unbelievable. These guys are unbelievable. Well, this day just got a little cooler. <laughs> you mucker. Father uh, mucker. It was right next to my uh, dandy. Yeah, it was right next to his dandy button. We, he thought it was a crusted nickel. It's a freaking Globes and Pillars one real. Yeah, there's, it's holed twice. There's a huge hole where the date is. It's 17 something, obviously. The reverse is beautiful. Obviously. Jeez, man. <laughs> We were ready to see a shield nickel. <laughs> Out pops a Globes and Pillars one real. Oh, you mucker. That's lovely, though. It, it, it's nice to see a, a silver coin, an old silver, come out of this river. We've been hitting it for a while now. So should we go back to that site? Because we just left there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go, go get some nice native right now. Uh, okay, let's go sift some native. Actually, both sides of this coin look really yeah, bad. They're not, it's not bad. It's no, not a bad coin no, at all. I see that coin. Yeah. The reverse is a little nicer than the obverse. But. <laughs> Way to go. Right? It a, was a wizard. You see that side? Look at that side. That's good. It's all the way there. Wow. I'll put it next to your, your V-nickel. There you go, bud. <laughs> No metal detector here. I'm just sifting rocks, looking for some native. Mark found a beautiful arrowhead here on the beach. We've had a lot of flakes. We've been wanting to come back here and sift around, so we're going to do this for a little while. Hopefully we can find something. Ooh. That's why we're here right there. That is an absolute flake off an arrowhead. Actually, I may have... That may have been a toll of some sort. But there's a lot of stuff like this here. I want to find a complete one. Imagine that. 
The muck did it. Sure. Just said four or five scoops in. You butt nugget. Like <laughs> <laughs> <There it is. laughs> of course you did it. I don't even know. I mean, they they may have may have been an accident, but that's still useful. Yeah. Good job. Nice thin one. I want to find a like perfect artisan complete one. Yeah. Keep but that's working. nice. I only got pieces so far. Well, there's Mark's arrowhead. No doubter. Big chunk taken out of this side, but that's why we're here. That's what we're looking for. Unfortunately. I went digging for another two and a half hours after Mark found this and I didn't find nothing <laughs> At least no arrowheads. I got some chips and stuff, but I tried didn't work for me 19 I like that Don't be a fishing sinker oh, 19 signal With a box of chocolates never know what you're gonna get Oh, what's that? What is that? Is it a crusted coin? Ooh, I think I got a copper. <laughs> Finally. Yes, it is a copper. Thank you, Lord. Be something on it. What's that? What that be? Definitely isn't much to look at, but man, it made me happy. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be enough to. Work it out. I was hoping this little bottom line here was either the bottom of a bust or the top of a bust, but not looking too good. 23. That is no doubt a coin. I circled where my other coin came from, and the signal was right next to it. So I was telling Brad earlier, like when I find something good, I usually do a circle or two around it to see if it was, you know, with a spill. All right, we got it. This one's allowed to be shiny. This is no doubt going to be a coin. Just too pure of a signal. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Where you at? Be a big shiny one. There it is. Copper number two. Hell yeah. Piece and details on this one. Why is it so smooth? Why is it? Oh, 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 we got an ID. King George II. Woohoo! Oh man. I'm glad we ended up here. Nice mid 1700s copper coin. That one's actually close up worthy. Yes! Been out here grinding today. I just spent two and a half hours sifting for arrowheads because I haven't had any luck. And two coppers right next to each other. That is awesome. I am going to hammer this area. Hopefully, there's a silver in here. I'm sure Brad will be over here soon and he'll find it. <laughs> That's all right. I got two cops. There we go. Just like that, I think I'm on some sort of spill. This one's a King George II. No doubt about that one. It's a later head. Any details on the reverse? Uh, Britannia's almost coming through there. But finally, a decent looking coin out of this river. This is the river where we found all those really pitted coppers a few episodes ago. That's not a bad one. 22. I literally took one step forward. This is a spill, without a doubt. Hopefully this is a one or yeah. Come on. Or to be a weedy. <laughs> oh man. All right, we got her. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden I got a second wind. I was dragging there for a little while. Come on, be another old coin. Yes, right there, bam. Three coppers in a row. Another King George the second. I got three in a row. Another KG2. Oh. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Whew. That's why you never give up right there. Sometimes you just need a little persistence. Finally on the old stuff. Oh man, I can't believe it. I've been grinding out here all day and I'm on a friggin' colonial spill. Holy crap, that's King George II, but that's an early head. This is the ones they made before the, uh, the last coin I found. You can see the top of Britannia there, but not a ton of details on the reverse. That's not a bad looking river copper though. I got a little shoddy signal here. It might be a coin on edge. I'm in the same little area as this three coppers. It's a, it's a high tone, but it like flakes out on me. So it's either deeper, I think it's a coin on edge. That's what I'm hoping anyway. 
All right, this is a tough signal. Did not want to come out of there. Hopefully it's another coin, but that was definitely deep. It's a weird flaky signal too. Yep, another coin. Huh. Another copper. Another copper coin. Oh, there's Britannia. Another King George II. Hey. Not a bad looking coin. And they're not bad out of here. Yeah. I want to see. Because the tide don't run that hard here. This one has, might have a date on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That was down in there. I like it. I don't dislike it. <laughs> <laughs> four cops my last four holes. That's pretty cool. Somebody's going to come over and bottom feed the silver. I can feel it. Yeah. Or the gold coin, Brad. <laughs> Well, as you can imagine, I have three metal detectors coming straight at me because I just found a freaking coin spill. That's the fourth copper in the same little area. This one has reverse details. Holy cow. Another King George II. Uh, I can almost make out a date there, but probably have to put it under a loop. This is King George II later head, like the second one. That's a cool spill of coins. And just, just so you uh, believe me... <laughs> The, the, there they all are. It's not all the same coin. <laughs> just like that, four coppers. And I just got word that Mark found an Indian. So it is an episode. Somebody found an Indian. It says the details aren't great, so I guess we'll see it in the wrap-up. And Brad found a dandy button. Unfortunately, it's a smooth one. No details, but there's old stuff here. Of course, the sun's setting. Now we're finding it. <laughs> there's a bug in my ear. In my mouth. Well, it was definitely nice having some more coils in the water for once. Uh, it was way easier to find out if a site was good or bad, <laughs> having more coils in there. We did pretty good today. I will say, it was a nice variety. Definitely dug a ton of lead in the river, a bunch of decoy weights and other things. What is that? Uh, I think the bottom of an old flashlight. Oh, okay. That makes sort of sense. We got a we got a bunch of these, but they're we put them in the bottom there, unfortunately. So I'm not going to dig around in there. There's all the junk and other stuff. Not a bad looking board for the day. Here's Andy's stuff. He got the uh, what are we call that paper printing plate. Printing plate. There's Brad's piece. There's probably more of that in there. I would have liked to have a chunk. But you got the non-precious rings and. Really hard hit smash bullets, musket ball there, uh, knife, muck at the bottle. There were some older bottles in there, but they were they were broken, unfortunately. What is that? That was your watch back. Yeah. Uh, this is the muck stuff. You got a buckle. Um, there's his lead and some, I guess, native flakes mixed in there. And here's his coins. There's his dandy button with the flower. There's the Indian. Well, believe it or not, that was an Indian. He's got the nice v-nickel. It's not showing up too nice. Let me get some side light on that. There we go. You can see the v-nickel there. And there's his Spanish silver nickel. <laughs> it holds twice. This is a good looking coin. B-red. Did you mention the acorn? Uh, the lead acorn. Or is that at? Yeah, it definitely looks like an acorn. <laughs> this is Brad's stuff. We got a golf ball and some other round rock there. And uh, the lead soldier, maybe some flakes. Did you get three Wheaties? Three parts. Look good for you. There's his dandy button that we didn't film. Here's his watch back. The, the two tokens. The White House, the cow. Got three nice musket balls and the find of the day. Beautiful Egyptian gold ring. Your tone got a little funny there for a second. <laughs> uh, there's my native flakes from all my sifting. I got a nail, <laughs> some lead. I didn't find a whole lot today. A couple memorials, a couple non-precious rings, one button, and then right there at the end, the coin spill, four coppers. Three of them are King George II. The one, the first one, we'll never know. But not a bad day, all in all. Just let me itch in peace. Where am I going? I'm getting bit. <laughs> those are leaves, those are bugs. I appreciate you coming out and hanging out with us really again, nice buddy. to be here for a dig. Yeah? Yeah. You gonna do it again sometime this summer? Hey, count me in five weeks. In <laughs> five weeks? Four to, four to five. Thank weeks. you guys for watching. Until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Who wants to say it? Why? I got it because because all McDoubles matter. So that's all holes matter. All
Well, we definitely know what we're gonna zoom in on today, but I will show my coin spill again. Yeah. Yep. That's a pretty ring. You got something? Yeah, it's a funny I up in my Oh, I see my signal. It doesn't look good. What do you make of that thing? I don't know, but look at that beautiful rock. It is a pretty rock. It's got a stripe on it. Where's your 20? All right. That's a piece of your thing. There's a piece of my thing? Is that the... I don't think it goes to my thing. Of course I'm the... Of course I'm the female. You one. can have both of them though. <laughs> you get the female ones. <laughs> we'll get a few more minutes. Hey, what? Oh, check this out. <laughs> Here, let me, let me zoom in on that. It hurts my back. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get my jiggle on, but it's just too cold, too tired. I just. One more time for your friends that haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> you know how hard it is to hold the camera still and laugh when you're 10x zoomed in? You see my belly button from there? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs>